Hello, this is Xtalk Helix here, and welcome to part 10 of our How to Play Yu-Gi-Oh! 4 Beginner's Guide. So today, we're going to be looking at probably one of the more complicated aspects of Yu-Gi-Oh! Pendulum Summoning. Okay, so let's have a quick explanation of what Pendulum Monsters actually are. Essentially, Pendulum Monsters are a combination of a monster and a spell card that can be used either as a, as a monster in your monster card zone, or as like a sort of spell card in your Pendulum Zone. So if you're looking at the picture on screen, this is a great example and explanation of what Pendulum Summoning is. <coughs> Excuse me. So each Pendulum Monster will have a scale on it from 1 to 9, I believe is the highest, maybe 8. And um, as you can see, if uh, you put one on one side, one on the other, and that then becomes your Pendulum Scale, which is what you can summon between. In this case, 1 and 8, it'll be, you can summon levels 2 to 7. And then once per turn, you can special summon monsters as many as you like. Um, from your hand or if you have pendulum monsters in your extra deck you can summon them from there as long as they are between the level straight to the field in attack position it is insane these are and of course you also have um, your additional spell effects so when they're in a pendulum zone for example we'll have a look at stargate position if a pendulum monster you control battles your opponent cannot activate spell cards until the end of the battle step unless you have a magician or red eyes card in your pendulum zone, this card's pendulum scale comes 4. So yeah, so they do have the drawbacks and then they do have the advantages such as that. So you're essentially like a monster spell card. So let's go into a little bit more detail looking at individual cards. So let's have a look at a few examples of pendulum monsters and then we should get into a bit of support for them as well. So first up we had Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. This one has a scale of 4, so you can place it on either side and that'll be the max or minimum depending on what you want to do. <coughs> you can reduce the damage, so while it is in its pendulum zone, you can reduce the battle damage you take from a battle involving a pendulum monster you control to zero, which is very really nice. During your own phase, you can destroy this card, and if you do, add one pendulum monster with 1500 attack or less from your deck to your hand. You can only use the effect of Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon once per turn. And so that's a pretty nice effect. And then if it is in um, a monster zone, so I guess it's a it's monster effect, if this card battles the opponent's monster, any battle damage that this card inflicts to your opponent is doubled, which is insane. Really good card there. So let's have a look at the next one, which is Magic Spectre Unicorn Kirin. This one does not have a pendulum effect, but um, it's just got a really low pendulum scale, which is which is good for getting out those uh, summons. So during your play, you can target one pendulum monster in your monster zone, and one monster your opponent controls return it to turn them to your hand. Cannot be targeted or destroyed by your opponent's card effect. I say some uh, <coughs> archetypes of pendulum, such as Magic Spectre, can't be affected by spell cards. Which is amazing. Well, card effects in general. I'll talk to this. It's really good. These magic Spectre ones. <coughs> so let's look at one more monster example, which is Time Geezer Magician. <coughs> so there are different like types of cards in this as well, such as like magicians. You've got odd eyes. You've got perform pal. Just so many. So the pendulum effect in its own. It's also got a scale of eight, which is very good. You must control no monsters to activate this card. If a pendulum monster you control it attacks or is attacked, your opponent cannot activate trap cards to the end of the battle step unless you have a magician or magician card or other ice card and you're in pendulum zone, this card becomes four. <coughs> That's not bad. But here are the other drawbacks. And it's monster effect each turn the first card in your pendulum zone that will be destroyed by your opponent's card effect is not destroyed. Amazing again. So let's have a bit look at a few support cards here. So first up we have Pendulum Reborn. This one's pretty self-explanatory. So just summon one face of Pendulum Monster from your extra deck or one Pendulum Monster from your graveyard to the field. Yeah. Very straightforward that, like I said, you can special summon cards from your extra deck as well. Well, Pendulum Monsters from your extra deck when you Pendulum Summon, which is very cool. Now we have is Pendulum Back. If you have two cards in your Pendulum Zone, target two monsters in your graveyard. Each of the level becomes uh, the Pendulum Scales of the cards in your Pendulum Zone, which is very nice. Okay, next up we have a bit of spell cards. First one being Pendulum Impenetrable. This turn, cards in your Pendulum Zone is currently destroyed by your opponent's card effects or not negate any effect activated by your opponent that targets a card in the Pendulum Zone. Bit of protection there for Pendulums. Next up we have Pendulum Shift. Target one card in either player's Pendulum Zone, declare a Pendulum Scale between 1 and 10. This turn, that card becomes a Pendulum Scale. So essentially, you could mess up your opponent by making them 1 at the highest so they can't summon anything. Uh, or you can make your other one a 10, so you can summon anything between 2 and 9, which is insane. And then finally we have probably one of the most powerful Pendulum cards, which is Pendulum Core. 
Discard one card, add two magician pendulum monsters from with different names from your deck to your hand, or also until the end of your opponent's next turn after this card resolves. Magician cards in your pendulum zones cannot be destroyed by card effects. Again, re really good and some protection. You can activate this card if you've activated the magician monster's pendulum effect this turn. So yeah, so there's a lot of different types of stuff for pendulum if you've got a sort of protection stuff, easy to get them back from the extra deck. And uh, yeah, the really, really good um, um, way to play, to be honest, but a bit OP and, you know, newbie. <laughs> but yeah, still really good, no, I'm joking. They are good. So yeah, that's really it to Pendulum. So each of them has a scale. Between that, you can summon monsters once per turn from your hand or extra deck. There's pendulum monsters from your extra deck. That are between those levels. Uh, using, and you can use Pendulum Effect or the monster effect depending on where they are on the board. So that is the basics on Pendulum Monsters. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to punch the like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Also, make sure you follow my Twitter link down below as always. So, last thing to say, thank you so much for watching. I've been XLKX, I shall see you in the next Yu Gi Oh! video.